by talking with Caden. And not like it'll matter. <coughs> and shadow you need, Commander. Foreshadowing. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get back up from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Huh. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. There was a sterile research platform when I was there. There huh. were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Huh. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. We'd sit around and bull every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Huh. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same, but things never felt together. Training, you know. Hmm. Do you know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Huh. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The Grand Gateway to Humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Elenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your Commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a... a whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. Okay. Oh, hey. Shepard's locker. Huh. Those are fucking useless to me. There's Dr. Shock was. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Eh, it doesn't matter. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, that matters. Okay. Uh... I assume Liara's in here? No. Huh. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's actually a very good reason why I ex would expect that. Uh, let me see. Caden, that's where I am. God damn it. Oh, so they switched this out in the second one for something else. Hello, Liara. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Man, they look at you funny because aliens Don't worry, on a human Liara. ship, you know? I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Huh. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble <sighs> across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. Huh. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. Man. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Huh. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate... Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. <laughs> I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Oh, uh, Liara. Mass Effect 1, Liara. So funny. <sighs> Let me see. Garrus should be back here. Calibrating. Uh, never mind. That's just in every other Mass Effect game. How do I... Unknown. Uh, let's go down below level. Let's see what we can find. Uh... First up, though, I think we should pretty probably check out our own personal code. Never mind. Actually, does Shepard even have personal quarters in this Normandy? 
Hold on, I'm pretty sure he does, because I, I th I'm pretty sure you can buy, like, fucking pets and fish and shit all throughout the game. It's like, all of them. Lions requisition offer, officer, and Garrus. Nice work out there. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. Yeah, I can see it. I mean... So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Huh. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not bad. Got it? I wasn't trying to... I understand, Commander. M35 Mako. Such a piece of shit. And now we talk to Rex. Shepard, what can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? Uh, no. An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Yeah, the Krogan are far fucking worse. Um, Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. Huh. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Huh. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan. Would he rather find a cure for the genophage, or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. Huh. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. 
I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, uh, sensors, weapons. Let me think here. Uh, let me see. Normandy was made as a partnership between humans and Turians. Garrus is a Turian. What fucking harm could having him around be? His people helps make the ship. That's enough, Chief. You always second-guess your superiors? Sir! No, sir! I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duties squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's <laughs> your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. Their family, right? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. That's between you and her. Hmm. Scuttlebutt says otherwise. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Hmm. Like I said, space racist. Oh, over here we should find Tully. God damn, this fucking place is weird. It's so different. Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Huh. Fill me in on the IES stealth systems. How does it work, exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. Hmm. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Huh. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Huh. Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo, only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Huh. Neat. Carry on, Adams. Well, at least Adams isn't a space racist. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's huh. a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. Huh. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. 
Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Huh. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Huh. I should go. See you later. Almost 20 minutes, well, 21 minutes, and we have only talked to everyone. Wow. Oh, wait, except, son of a bitch, the requisition officer. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Huh. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Huh. Cannot afford that. Cannot afford that. Cannot afford that. That's fucking useless to me. Useless. Wow. Hmm. You really have fucking nothing. I'm actually now legitly confused on all the shit I have. Uh, that is heavy armor. There we go. Uh, now we can leave. First full episode on the Normandy. Woo. Now I just have to see if I can. Ugh. God. Yeah. I really needed the stretch. Slow as fuck. God damn. Come on. There we go. Okay, have a look around up here and see if there's anything. Nope. Huh. Wait a minute. Oh. Hmm. Oh well. Let me see. Where to next? Son of a bitch, I'm an idiot. So, we could go to Pharos, Novaria, 
or all the way back to the Citadel. Eh, let's go, Barrows. Cessius. So, Cessius is in which Pharos resides. Hmm. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Huh, interesting. Planasano. Interesting. Well. I will see you guys next time, though. I need a drink. Probably have this going for long enough. So see you guys next time on more Mass Effect 1.